This video is going to show you how to use images in the graphing sticky. So you'll see I have an image here. This is the graphing sticky. I know that because I can do equations, I can do data, I can do um, images and plot points. So I already uploaded an image and that's what this little text here is. It's telling me where this image is centered. And depending on what you're doing with students, you maybe you want them to have it up so that these this happens to be kind of par parabolic, right? Water fountain. So maybe you want them higher so you could change where the center of X or center of Y is. You could change if it's turned. But I'm going to leave it where it is because it's, it's good to have students do different types of equations that aren't always centered on X and Y. So what we want to do is plot some points first and get in, uh, a regression. And so in a graph sticky, you can choose plot points. And this is simply coordinates. You're putting an X and a Y coordinate and a point is going to appear at that point. Um, I'm going to change the color because I think red might appear better on our screen. And I'm just going to randomly pick some points. So you'll notice as I type them, you see a point appear in that location. So I'm just going to randomly pick six different points because what I really want to do is do some curve fitting. So this is where plotting points is great and they go where you plot them, but you can then t grab a point and move it. And here's where you're going to be doing the curve fitting. Let's move the point to one of these um, arcs that is being shown in the graph. And notice what happens. That point in the table and in the um, image shows the coordinates. And so have students place their coordinates where they think um, makes sense. So they could do one down here and... Let's do another one. And now let's see if we can kind of come up with where we think a center might be. I'm going to say about right there. And let's do this last point, maybe right there. So I've basically just plotted the points on the curve. And now I can do a couple things. I could, depending on what your students are uh, doing, you could have them use these coordinates and, and figure out an equation by, by themselves, right? So they can use the coordinates and do their forms and uh, that type of thing, find a vertex, find a point, those types of things. So they could just enter um, an equation here. So I just got an equation sticky. But what I want to show you is how you can also do a regression that then leads to an equation. So let's get a table out. So notice again, I'm in the graph and I now want a table data. And it looks very similar to the plotting point table. The difference being this is literally just points. But if I put the points, those coordinates in a table, um, A, B column, it's going to bring up my statistics menu, which then allows me to do regression. So if you already have points, the quickest way to do it is to copy. So I'm going to just highlight that row, that column, and come over here to A. Notice here's my, um, my statistics menu, but I'm going to paste it in there. And so all I did was copy and paste, but now it's in my statistics menu, which allows me then to do regressions. So now based on this statistics menu, if I select these two columns, I have lots of things I can do. I can do calculations, you know, one or two variable graphs, scatter plots and such, but we already sort of already have this plotted points. I want the regression. What what is it going to fit? And you notice there's lots of different choices for regressions. And so hopefully students are going to recognize a shape and they're going to determine which regression is going to be the best one. So we've got a quadratic, looks parabolic. So let's hit quadratic. And here's what happens. It graphs it. So we're a pretty good fit, right? So I'm going to move this up here. When you graph it from the data, you get a regression sticky, which basically gives you the standard form of the equation for whichever one you did. We did a quadratic. And then it gives you the coefficients, right? The a, the b, the c, and also the r squared value. So it is a pretty good match here. 0.98 is a pretty good. So it's just this point. So students could, you know, adjust this if they want and see if that makes a difference. Um, but we're going to leave it just set as it is. And so now let's do the equation. So from the regression, we can then have them actually now type the equation in a different color. So we're going to use the values from our regression. Let's round to 100. So 0.24x squared plus 0.16 for the b value 
plus our C value, let's do 2.23. And when I hit enter or execute down here, I'm going to see a blue line that pretty much matches my red line. And so now we use the statistics menu to get the regression and then come up with the equation. But now what you could do, since they now have this understanding of how that equation came from these points, you could have them explore what points on this show up or do they in this equation or let's this one has more than um one parabolic curve here so could they now not using a regression figure out what the equation for the one right above it is it seems like it has the same points right here but it's it's wider right so what would they have to do to this equation and they could play around with it and they could uh, come up with, you know, a green equation to try to match this one up here. So lots of things you can do. You can do regressions. You can do um, exploring equations once you have the regression equation um, of the original. So helping students understand what those equations actually represent from those points.